This is about um, installing Photoshop plugins in GIMP, uh, aimed very much at Windows users. Uh, a newcomer to GIMP might come across a web page like this, and it looks very, very simple. Add the PSPI plugin, and you very often go to somewhere like that. Where you would need to be is uh, this web page, and you can download the GIMP PSPI. Windows plug in there uh, as a zip file. It's only a small uh, file, and then you need some plugins, and this is as good a place as any. I'm going to use as an example these plugins. You get the whole lot in, again in one zip file, and again, it's a very small download. So in Windows 7 here, and I'm using GIMP uh, 2.6.12, I'm going to use Windows Explorer to navigate around. I'm not a, a great user of Windows. And first of all, I'm going to find my downloads file. There are the two zip files that I've downloaded. The next thing is I have to, I'm going to start up another explorer just so we can see exactly where things go. And I want my local .gimp-2.6 folder and I want my subfolder plugins. That's it there. Now it's no good just copying these zip files across, we've got to open them up. And you'll see that the PSPI one is, it really indicates that it goes in the global plugins folder, but I'm not. I'm going to put it in my uh, local folder. It works equally well. And what we need to do now is go back and find those uh, 8BF plugins. And I'm going to, could select all of them. I'm just going to select uh, some of them. Click on them and drag them across. And there they are, copied into my local plugins folder. Next thing we have to do is set up GIMP to use these. And having installed the PSPI plugin into that folder, we now find we have another menu entry right down the bottom, Photoshop Plugin Settings. And we've got to tell GIMP where to find these plugins. So we'll click on an icon for New Folder and then click on for Search. And we'll go back to that um, local GIMP profile there and you can see there are the files okay that you can see there's the path we'll okay that and it tells us that we have to start GIMP again so if we start GIMP again and if we look in uh, the filters I've actually got a new menu entry there for uh, these plugins, but it's greyed out. We need a, an image, so there's an image. And there's the plugins, and you can see I'm going to use this little simple one called a lightning maker. That's all it does, it makes forked lightning. And you can change the settings with the sliders. And there's some forked lightning, uh, good for a background of some other image. And that's uh, an 8BF, a Photoshop 8BF filter in GIMP. Now then, I'm going to try and persuade you that you should try out all the GIMP native filters first. There are so many of them that if you get through them all, you'll be a complete GIMP expert. But if you want more, you can get 
a whole load of filters all in one package and it's called GMIC. I have it downloaded. If I use the Windows Run dialog and I go back to my downloads folder where I downloaded it. There we are. Uh, it does tell you that it is a installer, GMIC for GIMP setup. Open that and OK it. And we get the usual Windows dialog for installation. Finds the correct place to install automatically. It's very well behaved. And it installs very quickly. And we do need an image for it to work on. So back at the right at the bottom now we've got the GMIC plugin. And it has, if you look at the top there, it's got actually 285 filters to use. And you can do everything from enhancements of the image through to adding patterns to it. You can have a canvas texture. Or you can use it, put a frame on it, or make the image into an array. But I'm going to show you this little one here, down in the artistic section. And it's called Rodilius. And it makes an effect like that. You can adjust it a little bit if you want to. fiddle around with it and OK it. It does take a little while to work. That's the difference between a interpreted script and a compiled. But if we duplicate the uh, original image, I'm going to show you the equivalent Photoshop plugin called Fractalius, it complains a little bit. Now this is commercial, it costs US $40 uh, and it is really really good, it's got more effects than just this one. This is just an example as a comparison. They're not exactly the same, you wouldn't expect them to be and each one in its own way uh, is excellent. Uh, what I'm saying is, is try out GIMP native plugins first before you plump for Photoshop. All things GIMP plugins you need to go here in GIMP plugin registry and if you want to download GMIC you can get it from here. Not a big download. There's also a gallery there of effects.